YouTube, Corn Cop Piper coming at you. It is, uh, well, now Saturday evening. Um, this video, well, this portion of it was meant to be shot, I guess, uh, Saturday morning. I had met uh, my buddy now, uh, Nate, uh, who's got a YouTube channel here, Pipe Drum 22, at the Briary in um, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, obviously, as you can see, I'm filming this from my hotel room. Uh, I had shot some footage of the two of us, uh, you know, sitting there talking about pipes and pipe tobacco, and unfortunately, I hit the pause button instead of record, so while we were sitting there talking, the video was actually paused, and then I went to go end it as when I actually started recording, so I do apologize, but Nate's an awesome dude. He told me about some cool spots to check out uh, here in town, which we're definitely going to do. Went and visited a uh, cool park a little bit ago, but I did get some uh, uh, footage of the inside of the Briary uh, here in Birmingham, uh, which I'm going to show you now. And, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and post a link also to uh, Nate's channel. He hasn't done a video in a while, uh, but I believe he mentioned that he was planning on doing some soon. So definitely go check out his channel, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you sub to him as well. Uh, he's a super cool dude. Uh, we plan on coming up here next uh, uh, next fall uh, to do some camping at the state park that we visited because me and my wife have both fallen in love uh, with the city. It really is an awesome place uh, to at least visit. I don't know what it's like to live here, but definitely a very cool place to visit. So with that, I'll go ahead and let you see the footage now of the inside of the Briary. I did get some outside footage as well, or I tried to earlier, of the outside because it was actually a con uh, converted farmhouse that was built in 1899 that they converted into a pipe shop uh, but uh, unfortunately that footage was lost as well so uh, let's go ahead and move on over to the next clip which will be the inside of the briar itself so just to show you around the place this is uh, their smoking lounge got some nice nice, nice leather set up here pretty decent sized room they got an area outside um, a porch where you can sit too and the weather is beautiful here today it's got to be maybe 78 degrees out right now it's around uh, 11 30 in the morning but a nice um, nice area and this is once again it's called the Briary located in Birmingham Alabama and if I could back up here enough I could actually show you this is a uh, this is an old farmhouse that they uh, basically converted to let's see if I can get out in the road here real quick that they converted to to a pipe shop pretty cool I guess this place has been here since uh, 1974 I think is what I read this is the main area when you walk in I just found yeah. out they do sell online, so if you're interested in ordering some tobacco on here, they have a website where you can order from. But there is their the pipe tobacco uh, shelf. I did pick up a tin of Solani Age Burley Flake. And then here's the tobacco that I've never never seen before. It's an aromatic from Germany. I take you in. And I got a smaller area over here uh, with just some lighters, pipe tobacco pouches, some cigar cutters, and then uh, some humidors obviously. Here, another selection of lighters, and these look like some, uh, some vintage pipes here. In this case, nice meerschaums up there. And they got, and I forgot to show you, I'll take you back in a minute. They got some pretty cool old tins set up in the smoking lounge here. They got a humidor. Here where I picked up some uh, cigars, I'm not really going to show you around here, but you get the gist of the size. Pretty nice selection. Yeah, I usually just, you don't have to leave that wax paper in there. They do that in a tin to soak up some of the juices. 
It's a cigarello. No, I, I didn't actually try it. I didn't. You'll like it. I'm sure I'll <laughs> you all have to carry Some canes, and I think those are pecker canes. Uh, I do. Maybe. Uh, that could be what? Maybe bamboo? Sure, uh, I think maybe Virginia, like that could be pecker canes. Here is the rack of old pipes and tins, uh, which I thought was pretty yeah, gone, pretty cool as well. Yeah, we usually, even when we do a big order, we get some pretty preferential treatment. We usually only get four tins of it. Yeah. Some nice selections of pipes. Yeah, you're probably the same, you're probably the same with like esoteric and like this is just like yeah, they're just like, well, what you get is what High you get. High-end ones down there. We don't have them, we don't have them. I was yeah. lucky to snag a bag of uh, Stonehaven from another place. If you like Stonehaven, try out Ramsgate. Ramsgate? Yeah, Ramsgate is... More pipes, and they do have some pipes, Stonehaven. I guess, that are made in New York, which are stamped like this one huh. with uh, so, you know, with the briary on there. Is it, it's easier Pretty to cool. Get. I may end up picking up one of those before I leave. I haven't decided yet. Esoterica this year just did a weird thing. You know, they, More there. They, and they do make their own pipes. And so There's one of them up there, we which is uh, was the cover of Pipes in Tobacco ago Magazine. Ago before we got, got any. So this they do not have any available right now. But typically, I almost always have Ramsgate. Looks or like these ones here are them. pretty much like yeah. uh, basket pipes. Uh, but yeah, so if you like Very, very nice selection of everything, including the tobacco. There's all their. They're bulk blends. I don't even know what I want to smoke. And I guess they just, uh, they don't they don't make these in-house. They just bring them in bulk and then uh, jar them up and sell them. Got some nice uh, meerschaums down here. A beautiful one. And right here. And then uh, just some cool old stuff around here. I'll go in a minute when the place clears out and we'll talk to... Uh, Aubrey, who's the uh, worker here, yes, and we'll get some information oh. about the place. Oh, I got some pretty cool, pretty cool, cool church wardens there as well. I didn't I didn't notice those before when I was in here, but we'll be back in a minute and uh, we'll find out some information about this place for you guys. Smoking now, still out of the uh, the Morgan. Yeah, so. Hanging brandy. But like, I'm trying to F and K tobacco. Nick gave me a, a, the, uh, a bowl of it. The, uh, Pretty good stuff. I do have a, a tin of this at home, and I was the, planning the on uh, smoking it. Are, well, it's funny they don't like outsiders, but like come this Halloween, but definitely uh, nobody's actually you can still from taste the tobaccos, but uh, it's definitely and definitely there, aromatic. Like, oh, I moved here from and a nice one at that. Uh, Idaho or wherever. Well, like, I mean, how are you guys? Definitely this rude would, would recommend this one. Here. For you to try in the future. We're going to go ahead in a minute here, the end, uh, we're going to talk to one of the locals. He's going to give us some background information uh, about the the briary here in Birmingham, Alabama. I got here uh, uh, Robert with me. He's uh, one of the locals. He's going to give us some uh, some background information about the briary here in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. All right, well, the briary started at uh, Brookwood Mall, which is in the other side of Homewood uh, in the late 70s by Skip Elliott. His dad opened up a uh, store. Then, and then when the mall re regrouped, they moved over here about 12, 13 years ago. Um, and, he's, and Skip makes pipes. They've mainly been a pipe and tobacco store. They sell cigars and accessories. But I think, I think the Briary is the oldest uh, pipe and tobacco shop in the Birmingham area. There are others, but mm -hmm. I think he's the oldest one, um, and I've known him for 35 years or so. Um, and Skip's got a pretty good reputation for making pipes, uh, some quite exquisite pipes. Um, if you get a chance, you might want to see if there are any of them in here. There's in not. There's not. He, makes, he doesn't make a lot of them, but they're, you know, really... They're as good as anything. Sir Jacopo, Costello, they're, they're on that level. Um, and, you know, this house was built in the late 1800s. It's an old farmhouse. It's good. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool place. And, and Aubrey can elaborate on some, some things about here, too. I just gave him a brief history on it. Cool. I'm glad you did it. You've been here a lot longer than I have. No, I told him.
So this is uh, Aubrey. He's the the sales manager here at the Briary in Birmingham, Alabama, and he's he's going to give us a little bit of information about the shop too. Make sure you include your your phone number and, and address here also when you're when you're letting people. Oh yeah, no problem. Um, one of the more interesting things about the shop is uh, we've been in business for 43 years. Uh, we're the second oldest tobacco shop in Alabama. Um, we focus more directly on pipes than we do cigars or anything else. Um, one of the better things about it is since we moved to this location, Homewood, in uh, 2000, we've, uh, we've gotten a lot bigger business, we've gotten a lot more pipe smokers. One of the better things is we've been in a farmhouse, the house was built I think in 1899. Wow. And, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> it, it, was a, it was a pretty interesting farmhouse and then I think it was an antique shop and then we bought it. There was a lot of, a lot of cool things that happened, but one of the better things that um, we get to enjoy from being such an older shop is we get preferential treatment from say uh like less wood from fern down so fern down spoken right now what are the odds but uh less wood from fern down just did his last batch he retired last week and uh so you know we picked through his last batch on that uh we typically have esoteric every couple months um i'm trying to think if there's anything in the other more interesting uh things besides the fact that uh, the owner skip elliott is an artisan carver his pipe's been featured in Pipes and Tobago magazine usually every quarter. One of them's the parting shot. Uh, we definitely have a picture of one on the, in the in the main room. That's yeah, I showed. Uh, I showed okay, picture, cool. Yeah. That was, you know what's interesting about that is he ended up making two of those pipes. Back before I ever worked here, I was a customer, and uh, he made two. And he comes to me, and he goes, "Yeah, so I've got this other one if you wanted to buy it." And back back then, I had a, a very interesting job, and so I had a little bit of expendable cash. And I turned it down because I'd just gotten into pipe smoking. <laughs> Worst decision I ever made. Because that <laughs> thing was, that was a beaut. Um, but he makes a pipe usually about once a month. Um, he does it from uh, Italian briar mostly. Sometimes he gets a little Grecian briar, just depending. But he does more uh, interesting shapes. I'd say he is more of an Italian carver than he is an American carver, just due to the shapes and the grain patterns that he likes to follow with. Mm. That's about all I got right now. I'm sure I could come up with more if uh, yeah. you got any questions that you want. I'm to know. actually going to take off soon. My wife's on her. Actually, I think she's here already. So oh wow, I'll finish this play. But um, what's your your phone number and address here? Oh yeah, I'll see here. Our phone number is 205-942-9001, and then we're over here at 609 uh, Oak Grove Road. In Homewood, Alabama, 35209. So if you guys are ever in Birmingham, Alabama, definitely stop in here and check this place out. It's awesome. 